Welcome back to Student of the Gun Homeroom. I am your favorite professor, Paul Markle, and you obviously already read the title to this video, Rob Pincus was right, or Rob Pincus was correct. Depends on what verbiage you want to use. But uh, last week, we were at the NRA annual meeting and convention, and uh, Rob was there, and he did a seminar. There's lots of seminars that go on uh, during the NRA annual meetings, and one of his was about home defense, or how to defend your home. Pretty simple, right? Not, you know, too crazy of a, or controversial of a topic. And during the seminar, what Rob did is he recommended or he offered the advice that it might be a good idea to keep a one of those rapid access or quick access gun safes in your child's bedroom. Now, he's not talking about a big giant vault. He's not talking about your cannon safe that you can get inside and live in. He's talking about one of those small little keypad operated uh, hand pad gun safes. You know, you keep a pistol in it just in case of an emergency. And the reason he mentioned that is because if you're up in the middle of the night, you're getting a glass of water, he said you're going to the bathroom, you're sitting on the couch watching late night TV, and the alarm goes off, the dogs start barking, smash, glasses breaking, whatever. As a parent, what is your natural instinct? Well, as most parents, I would say your natural instinct is probably going to be immediately check on your children. Maybe it's just a something went crash or boom, and you're like, oh God, one of the kids fell out of bed or, or something, you know. So you, you go to their room, you're in the kid's room, and you find that you're in the kid's room and then bad people have entered your domicile. Now, if the only place you have a home defense or personal defense gun is secreted upstairs in the second floor in the master bedroom, and you're on the first floor in your kid's room, that gun is really far away when there are bad people inside of your house. And so what Rob said is if you're bunkering, if you're bunkering up in your kid's room, you got your kids behind you, everyone's safe, bad guys are out there. If you don't have anything but your empty hands, you're going to feel pretty silly. So his, you know, his advice is you might want to take one of these you know, rapid access gun safes, put it, mount it in the kids, you know, on the shelf in their bedroom or, you know, in the shelf in their closet or what have you. Not really earth shattering, not really controversial. Um, but the liberal media, somebody took a, a YouTube video of it, they put it up and the liberal media just peed themselves. <gasps> oh, the NRA says you should, you should have guns and kids in the same room and that's terrible and blah, 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 blah stop yourself okay first of all uh, we adults don't see our kids as these fragile little peter pan i'll never grow up characters oh, and we adult mature people don't use our children as props to support our political agenda unlike the other side so i just want to do this real quick video saying uh, do Rob and I don't necessarily agree on every single aspect of personal defense, defense or what have you, but he's part of the big family. And people in the big family, you can argue with people in your family, you can disagree with people in your family, you can agree with people in your family. But when somebody comes from the outside and they want to get in, no, no, stop. Stop right there. You're not welcome in this conversation. Go away. Go talk about Justin Bieber's freaking haircut or the Kardashians or something. When it comes to home defense, we've got it. You hippies at the Huffington Post can just stay out of it. All right. So Rob Pincus was right, at least in that regard. And I think we need to support him. Now, what is our book today? Our book today comes from my good friend. And I know that prejudices me, but uh, my good friend, Mike Deddy. It's called Guns Across the Border. Guns Across the Border, how and why the U.S. government smuggled guns into Mexico. Now, a lot of your friends and relatives and people you work with probably been talking about Fast and Furious and what they heard or what they think or what someone told them. Well, tell you what, you get Mike's book. We'll put the link up for you right down there, guys. And you can read directly from the mouth of someone who was involved in it from beginning to end. You know, Mike was actually involved in it before the Obama administration took over and increased and expanded it. Uh, in, I'm not going to tell you the end of it or how it worked out, but uh, read Guns Across the Border by Mike Detty. That's D-E-T-T-Y. We'll put the link up for you guys down there. And for all things Student of the Gun, go to studentofthegun.com.